Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hey guys, apologies. I think I'm a I'm a minute late, right? <laughs> hi, hi, Pratham. Welcome. Hi, Mahin. Hello, Kanishka. You want Avengers? Hello, once Kanishka. once again. Okay. Right. So lovely to see all you guys now. Hey guys, welcome. We are back to our Shiksha series. The Pariksha series is over. So today, from today, we are starting back. You know, we are uh, resuming our Shiksha series. All right. I hope you enjoyed the Pariksha series. Did you guys? Come on, come on, come on, guys. Answer me so that. I get to know what you guys have felt about Pariksha. Hello, Aradhya. Hi, Shreya. Hi, Vishwajit. Wonderful, wonderful. So we are back to Shiksha. Today we are going to deal with the NCRD solutions. We are, in fact, going to continue with the NCRD solutions. Yes. Okay, so what is in store? Let us start slow that, you know, others also who wants to join, let them come in. Awesome guys, so we are a channel for 6th, 7th and 8th grade students for all of you. And um, uh, we, you know, we have wonderful teachers who are so, so, uh, you know, kind of dedicated towards the well-being of all of our students, you know, who are in Vedanta Young Wonders. And typically we handle four subjects for all of you. Math, Science, Social and English Grammar, the entire year syllabus we'll be handling. Most of you guys know it. And on the non-academic side, we have, uh, and more importantly, we have also started an ICAC series, guys. Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, the ICAC series have been started on a run, trial, kind of, so that we want to know <clears throat> to what extent you guys are in need of that. So based on that, we would want to make it full-fledged. So... In case, you know, you guys are in ICSC and you are looking for something like this, please give your support by attending those sessions. Awesome. Okay, now coming back to the non-academic part. Non-academically, we focus on two very important series. One is called, uh, uh, <clears throat> How Does It Work? Right? So, that is that series is all about some common equipments around you. And we will explain, we will take them and explain their functioning. Yes, and the other side, you, we also have a spell bee contest happening every Sunday. So guys, overall, if you look at it, it's a very comprehensive channel. So uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Guys, all you have to do is very simple. In front of your screens on the right bottom corner, you see a logo, right? Vedantu Young Wonders logo. Just click on it and click subscribe. Job done. Okay. Awesome. So... All right. Okay, the <clears throat> the punch should to start with. We have started the the all the series in English. <clears throat> yeah, we are also considering in the in the days to come, but not immediately. Yes, so that's also there. All right, guys. Okay, by the way, guys. Uh, in case you are looking for full fledged very deeper learning of all the concepts from the best teachers. We have something called Vedantu Pro. Vedantu Pro is a subscription for 6th, 7th and 8th grade students. All right. And uh, note down the links that I am telling you. vdnt.in slash ytpro. I repeat vdnt.in slash ytpro. And uh, use my teacher code SRPRO to avail massive discounts. Because this series, you know, this subscription is one where you will be taught by the best of teachers. You will have a lot of features, guys. Unlimited doubt solving, unlimited, you know, live sessions. So, amazing uh, subscription for anyone who is looking to kind of learn things deeper and from the best of teachers. Go to that link. Click on get subscription. Click on how many months subscription you want. Type coupon code. 
S R P R O, and there you are. You get a, a massive discount, and that's it, guys. And all what they teach will be in sync with your curriculum. All right, awesome. <clears throat> okay, so kids, let's start. We are starting the NCERT solutions. You know how it works, right? In uh, in case you are new, let me tell you. First, I'll pick the question and share it with you. And I want you guys to answer. Hi, Mahi. Okay. You are speaking about the app. I am referring to the YouTube channel now. Okay. So, typically, every day, please look at the timetable. All right. Look at the timetable. And based on the timetable, please attend the sessions. Keep studying. As simple as that. Okay. Right, guys. So, I'm going with the first question. Is everyone ready? Give me a yo, guys. Come on. Keshav, you two are late. Hi, Mansi. Hi, Dheeraj. Gansham, I handle social studies and English. Okay. Right, guys. Here we go. First question for you. What is the angle of inclination of the Earth's axis with its orbital plane? Okay. Simple. Come on, everyone knows it. What is the angle of inclination of the Earth's axis? Sixty six point five. Twenty three point five. Yes. So guys. So now tell me this. What is that angle of inclination? What does that mean? First of all, I'll explain you what is orbital plane. Every planet has its own, you know, the uh, the revolution path, the path of revolution, right? That path, what it creates, that plane, the flat plane that it creates, that is called an orbital plane. And when you look at, uh, you know, Earth, Earth's axis with respect to an angle of inclination, with respect to the sun, the angle of inclination is, uh, as a planet, Earth's inclination is 23.5. And with the orbital plane, with the Earth, in, you know, the planet in the center, the, uh, it is 66.5. I hope all you guys are understanding what I'm saying. So, the angle of inclination with respect to the Earth's axis. Alright, with that of the Sun. Yes, 23.5 and with the orbital plane, which is the path. Alright, orbital plane is all about the plane a planet creates with its revolution path. The path of, uh, we have the elliptical path, right? So, that elliptical path. What is the angle of inclination it is creating? So it is called, I'll show you a diagram so that it is more easy for you uh, at before the end of the session. Is everyone clear? 23.5 with Earth's with respect to the sun and with, its, with respect to its orbital plane. All right. It is 66.5. Hi, Aryan Saini. Hi, Shushma. All right, awesome. Question number two for you. What is the difference between rotation and revolution? Earth's rotation, Earth's revolution. Hi, Princey. Tanishka, you are not aware about the timetable. Okay, okay. Uh, please look at the community posts. You will see them. Yes, rotation is the movement of the earth on its own axis. Right? However, earth as a planet, it has, it revolves around the sun. Typically, which is its star, right? So, that revolution, that is called revolution. The moment of the earth around the sun. 
and for the earth to move around the sun it takes 365 days 6 hours we know that rotation is 24 hours clear what's happening Guys, is it clear for everyone? I'm able to load the link. Come on, come on. Okay, awesome. Mahi, all details are there in the website also as well as in the app for VSAT. My God. Okay, so the rotation, the moment of the earth on its own axis is called rotation. Revolution is typically the moment of the earth around the sun on its fixed path, which is elliptical in nature. All right. Question number three for all of you. Here we go. What is a leap year? Hey guys, come on. Hi, Kavita. A year with 366 days. And we have these 366 days because it is an accumulation of the six hours for which takes for every revolution. So one revolution takes 365 days and 6 hours. So what we do is we don't take that the 6 hours into account. Every 4 years we add those 6 hours and make it one full day. So that means a leap year is a year which happens every 4 years which will have 366 days. And that typically happens in the month of February. All of us know it, right? Yes. Guys, is everyone clear with this? Mahi, okay, in case you don't see it, I'll ask them to paste it again. Don't worry. Awesome. Question number four. So this year, the year with 360 day, uh, six days is called leap year. February will have 29 days instead of 28 days. Okay, what is the difference between summer solstice and winter solstice? Come on, come on, come on. What is the difference between summer solstice and winter solstice? Mayapreet, Abhishek will be coming. So guys, remember, 21st of June, all right, we have uh, the Earth's, you know, the, the Sun directly passing over the, uh, the Earth's axis with respect to the uh, the topic of cancer. So during this particular time, you will find that uh, uh, you know the 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 daytime is more, all right, and the nighttime is less. On the other side, if you look at it, twenty uh, second December, twenty second December, it goes to the other hemisphere, and there you will find that the same happens. They will have more, uh, you know, this side of the pole, the hemisphere, typically which is southern, southern hemisphere, it will have more of uh, daytime and the northern hemisphere, the daytime will be very less. Okay, it is the typical winter uh, solstice. So, 21st June, 22nd December, it, it keeps happening every year. 
it's called winter solstice and summer solstice where the sun's rays directly fall on the specific uh, location of the earth with respect to the southern and the northern hemispheres okay because of which at that time you will find that uh, you know the tropic of cancer in those places the day time will be longer night time will be lesser the other side when the sun's rays go to the other side the sun you will again find the the northern hemisphere the same thing happening so it is called summer solstice and winter solstice hi nalan many more happy returns of the day may god bless you guys are you clear what is summer solstice and what is winter solstice quick 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 yeah you guys are clear right perfect give me a yo guys if you are clear suddenly what is happening okay people uh, there are a few who are saying sir i don't understand guys okay let me explain this to you again every year during you know 21st of june as i said the sun's rays directly come in con you know contact it it fall exactly on the center all right and uh, typically in the northern hemisphere and that time northern hemisphere all the portions of northern hemisphere uh, north america all that stuff they will have those countries they will have more of daytime less of uh, night time okay so in the same time when that is happening on the other side in the southern hemisphere they will have less of daytime more of night time exactly the same during 22nd uh, december it goes to the southern hemisphere and uh, that is the time when the sun's rays directly fall on it you will find they have more of day time and the northern hemisphere will have less of day time it's uh, it is happens on 22nd of december and it is called as this side all right when it is falling on the northern hemisphere it is called summer solstice 21st june and winter solstice happens on 22nd december everyone clear now chala Menti quiz will very much be there. Perfect. Moving on to question number five. All right, guys. A few facts for all of you. So, twenty first June, Northern Hemisphere, and twenty second December, Southern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere because it comes in direct contact with the sun. They experience more heat, more daytime, more light. Exactly the opposite happens in the Southern Hemisphere. similarly and it is it is summer in northern hemisphere all right and uh, it is winter in southern hemisphere days are longer nights are shorter in this side days are shorter nights are longer reverse conditions prevail in the southern hemisphere exactly in 22nd december it goes the other way you clear awesome kids or uh, do you know what is an equinox what is equinox mahi i teach 6 7th and 8th ya ruchi vedant young wonders has got verified of course kids come on hi
So someone was asking the question and the question is coming. What is equinox? Exactly, this is the period of the, the time of the year. Twice every year, the sun's rays exactly come towards the center of the equator. So that point in time, you will find that the days and nights are very, very much equal. You clear? Yes. Yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. So typically, you know, it happens in the month of September and March. 22nd September and 23rd March. 20th March, yeah? So that is called equinox. 23rd September, 21st March. Direct rays of the sun fall on the equator. So that time, neither of the poles is tilted. It is exactly at the center. So you will find equal days and equal nights happening. And this period is called as equinox. When we say equal day, exactly equal time. It takes for the daytime as well as the night time. Hi Purujit. Many more happy returns of the day. Awesome guys. Question number six. Why does the southern hemisphere experience winter and summer solstice in different times than that of northern hemisphere? Simple question. Anash Jay Kumar. They have not probably due to COVID. They have not, uh, Google has not sent us the silver button till now. Exactly guys. So you will find the sun's rays come in contact with the southern hemisphere. Okay. And that is the time you will find that uh, when it is in the northern hemisphere, you will find the southern hemisphere experiences more of winter. And when it is in the southern hemisphere, northern hemisphere experiences more of winter. So when it no, when it is a summer solstice in the, you know the southern hemisphere, you will find that uh, the northern hemisphere the night time is long, right? The same vice versa happens when you will find that the you know the in 22nd September uh, December, it uh, the sun's rays come in direct contact with the southern hemisphere. The northern hemisphere experiences very less daytime, right? Nights are longer. It's called winter solstice. So these are the reasons. Perfect. Of course, it is because it is tilted with towards the sun. All right. And uh, Hence, the summer solstice is experienced in the southern hemisphere in 22nd December. The same happens in 21st June in the northern hemisphere. I think I've explained this enough. You know, let's not spend a lot of time on this. I hope everyone is clear, guys. Hi, Concept Mind Institute. Come on. Guys, give me a yo if you guys are cl pretty clear about all these things. Okay, if this is the earth, right? The sun's rays come in contact with, let me explain. The sun's rays come in contact because of the tilted uh, nature of the earth. All right, the sun's rays come in contact with the northern hemisphere on 21st June. Because of which, it, uh, you know, the northern hemisphere receives more heat and light. And that time, the other side, which is the southern hemisphere, it experiences very less heat and light. That means night will be longer. Clear? This is called som summer solstice. Exactly when the, you know, because of the movement of uh, the earth, exactly the same happens the other side when the southern hemisphere comes in contact with the sun on 22nd December. All right, they will have more of daytime. Northern hemisphere will have less of daytime. Cool? 
awesome so guys why do, do polls experience about 6 months day 6 months night come on guys this is why do polls experience 6 months day and 6 months night typically because all right the tilt of the earth on its own axis yes it keeps rotating at that time the portion which is not the the, the area of the earth which does not come in contact right of with the sun it's night time and exactly the opposite happens when the other side gets exposed which is day time are you clear so typically every pole is inclined like that right so they experience summer or the day time for 6 months and night time for 6 months got it super guys now moving into are you ready for a menti we are done hi manoj many more happy returns of the day manoj may god bless you okay guys whoever is new let me give you a quick uh, brief for you you have to open a new window don't close this window current window open a new browser window type www.menti.com m e n t i menti.com Here we go with the menti quest. The menti code for today is five five zero one four one three. Five five zero one four one three. Five five zero one four one three. Right, guys. Starting the quest now. Come on, everyone, join in fast. Hi Pranith Guys I see that many of you are in your are celebrating your birthday in I let me wish you guys in totality guys may wishing you many many more happy returns of the day may god bless all of you Okay guys starting the quest now here we go First question what is an orbital plane what is an orbital plane plane formed by the axis plane formed by the orbit both one and two none of these Yeah, hundred and thirty-nine of you are saying, sir, plane formed by the orbit, which is perfectly right. So, guys, what is 
Vivan. Black magic. I don't know who is this. <clears throat> I'm on fire. Nitesh and Puffy. Top five. Tom, Mia, Madhu, Mahin, and Cyan. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kids. Question number two. The earth takes dash to complete one revolution. <clears throat> 365 days, 4 hours, 366 days, 6 hours, 365 days, 6 hours, 365 days, 5 hours. Hi, Anshika. Many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. Oh no, guys, how come so many of you chose 365 days, 4 hours? We just spoke about the leap year, right? 6 hours, 4 years, 24 hours accumulated and added as a leap year, one with one more day in February. So, 365 days and 6 hours is the right answer. 99 of you got this right. So, if, let me see who is it. Sehangshu. Princess of Fire, Seamus, Aditi and Lakshya, Top 5, Devjaya, Tritvik, Badminton Girl, Zeus and Satya, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So an equinox happens, dash each year, how many times, once, twice, thrice, none of these. One hundred and ninety of you got this right. Twice, guys, twice, September and March, right? We just discussed. Princess of Fire, Sehang Shu, Badminton Girl, Devjeet and Zeus, top five. All right. Puffy, Arnav, Ritwik, Biswajit, and the Panshu. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many solstices occur in a year? How many solstices occur in a year? One, two, five, how many? Yeah, I met a little. Hello, Crime Master. Many more happy returns of the day, beta. Time is up. Two, two hundred and two of you. Summer solstice and winter solstice. So, most of you got this right. Lovely to see that. Princess of Fire, Sehang Shu, Badminton Girl, Devjit and Zeus. Top 5. Arnav, Ritwik, Bishwaj, Ritwik, Arnav, Bishwajit, Dipanshu and Bhavesh. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, be ready. Come on. Next question on your screens. The Earth travels around the dash in elliptical orbit. Venus, Mars, Sun, Moon. Which is the right answer? Around what? Earth travels around? Come on guys, can I ask you a simpler question than this? You tell me. Oh, Eric Verma, you are badminton girl. Nice. Good. 233 of you got this right. It's around the sun, right? Earth. Yes. 
moves around the sun. Princes of fire, guys. Uh, yeah, well, on top. Devjit S, number 2. Sehangshu, 3. Arnav and Bishwajit, 4 and 5. Zeus, Reyes, Bhavesh, Dipanju and Badminton Girl, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, question number 6 for you. Be ready. The sun's rays fall vertically on the dash on 21st June. Antarctica, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, 21st June. <clears throat> so 21st June is Northern Hemisphere. So Northern Hemisphere means what? Tropic of Cancer or Capricorn? Why above? It is free of cost. It is free. But if you have to enroll into some courses, they it will be chargeable. 173 of you got this right. Wow. Good. Tropic of Cancer. So, now after six questions, Princess of Fire at the top. Sehang Shu is at number two again. Devjay Tarnav Shreyas. Top five. Bhavesh, Badminton Girl, Dipanshu, Pinky and Arshia. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Kids, moving on. Probably to the closure question for this session. A year is usually divided into dash seasons. Come on guys, sitter. Is it not? 3, 5, 6, 4. Which is the right answer? Time is up. How many of you chose four? Come on, guys. Summer, winter, spring, and autumn, right? 174. Good. Not bad. Most of you are this, right? <coughs> Sehangshu, I think, is winning the quiz today, guys. Wow. Comfortably so. Wow. Awesome. Sehangshu, keep it up. Great job done. Many, many congratulations to you. And not just Sehangshu, Arnav, Devjit, who is that? I am not able to see the name. Badminton Girls, Dipanshu Yadav, Ashia, Chala, Pinky, uh, Aryan and Maitri. Every one of you. Everyone in the leaderboard, many, many congratulations to all you guys. Keep it up. Great job done. And guys, in case you could not make it to the leaderboard, right? It's okay. Keep trying. You know what? It's just a question of learning. Participating, competing, enjoying, have fun. Alright. This is what matters. So, don't feel very bad in case you are not able to make it to the leaderboard. You would have missed it just by fractions of seconds. It's okay. Alright. So, guys, I hope you like the session. So, hit the like button. And all you have to do to subscribe, just right click on the, you know, click on the logo at the right bottom corner. Click subscribe. That's it. Lovely guys, it was lovely meeting all of you. 8 o'clock, we have a, a session on English grammar. But that is a Pariksha session, which is full of MCQ questions and Menti. Alright, thank you so much my dear kids. So, yes, I will see you at 8pm. Until then, this is myself Sundar Rabindranathan signing off. Bye-bye.